Hello everyone, today our topic is how freelancers can use Pathly subscription billing to accept the payments. So suppose I'm a freelancer and I'm selling my product through my website and in my website I have added a Pathly subscription billing as a checkout page and in this I'm accepting the payments of all my customers in Pathly subscription billing. So here my objective is that I want to accept this payment and I want to add these details of the payments automatically in my Google Sheet. So for this, we will create an integration between Pabli subscription billing and Google Sheets. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Pabli subscription billing. In Action application, I'm going to use Google Sheets. So how I'm going to create this integration for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today I'm going to show you that how I can use Pabli subscription billing as a freelancer. So suppose I'm a freelancer and I'm selling my product through my website and for the payment, I have added Pabli subscription billing in my checkout page so that I can get the payment securely and successfully and I can keep the records of all my payments. I can create a subscription plan for my customers. So Pabli subscription billing is a recurring billing software that helps you to easily manage your billings and services. It helps you to generate invoices for various subscription plans and billing frequencies. So here my objective is that as a freelancer, I will sell my product from my website and for the payment, I will use Pabli subscription billing. And here, whenever I will sell a new product or whenever I will get a new order, then I will capture the details of my order and then I will add these order details automatically in my Google Sheet. So for this, I need to create an integration between Pabli subscription billing and Google Sheet. So for that, I will open a new tab and search for Pabli.com and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now I'm going to create a new workflow. For that, I'll click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to add order details of new orders through Pabli subscription billing in Google Sheets. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select home here and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says, when this happens, action says, do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we need to set up our trigger first. And here my trigger application will be Pabli subscription billing. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select Pabli subscription billing here. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and successful payment will be my trigger event. So whenever I will get a successful payment through my website where I have added Pabli subscription billing, then it will send the details of that product and the payment of that particular order to Pabli Connect. Now I have to connect Pabli subscription billing with Pabli Connect. So for that, I'm going to use this webhook URL and this is going to work as a bridge between Pabli subscription billing and Pabli Connect. And to connect these two accounts, I need to follow all this instruction. So first I'm going to copy this webhook URL and I will go back to Pabli subscription billing. Here I will go to settings and in settings I will go to webhook and I'm going to add a new webhook here. So I'll click here on add webhook and my webhook name will be test. Now I have to select the product and for the product I'm going to select all products and my plan will be all plan. Now I have to paste the webhook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it here. Now we'll scroll down and in this payment section, I'm going to enable this option of successful payment and I will scroll down and I will click on save. Now my webhook is added successfully. I will click on OK and I will go back to Pabli Connect. And here we have this response. So this is the response of adding my webhook. So I have successfully added my webhook. 
So my Parably subscription billing and Parably Connect is connected. Now I will click on recapture Webhook response. And here it is waiting for Webhook response. Now what I need to do is I need to create a new order and I need to sell a product through my website so that I can have a successful payment. And after getting the successful payment, I will get the details of my order here. So let me take you to my website. And this is my website and I have all these products here. And I'm going to use this PHP course for beginner. So I'm going to click here on checkout page. And this take us to this payment page. And in this payment page, I'm using Pabli subscription billing. So through this page, I'm going to accept the payments of my orders. And whenever I will get a successful payment, it will send the details of that payment to Pabli Connect. And also this will capture the details of all the payments in Pabli subscription billing so that I can have a secure record. Now to create this payment, I'm going to fill dummy details here. So my first name will be new, last name will be customer. My email will be newcustomer at the rate pablitudes.com and I will give a random phone number. So this is going to be my random phone number. Now I have to select the billing address. So I'm going to open this tab of select country and my country will be India. So I'm going to select this and my state will be Madhya Pradesh. Now I have to make a payment. And for the payment, I'm going to use this test card. So this is in test mode. That's why I'm using this test card and I need a successful payment. So I'm going to click here on success and this has filled the card details of a successful payment. Now I'm going to click on complete order. And here my order is completed and it says thank you for your purchase. Now to check this first, let's go to Pabli subscription billing. Here I will go to sales and here I have this new order. So this is my customer, which is named as new customer. This is the email address, new customer at the rate pablitudes.com. And this is the amount. And we have these payment details. So here on my website, I have sold a product and in the payment section, I have used Pabli subscription billing. And with the help of Pabli subscription billing, I have accepted the payment and I've got the details of my payment and the customer in Pabli subscription billing. Now for our objective, I will go back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see I have received this new response. So my event type is payment success, event source is checkout and these are other details. So this is the name of my customer, which is new customer and email address is new customer at the rate pablitudes.com. So state is Madhya Pradesh and we have this country code, which is IN. So this means country is India. So this is the plan name, which is digital plan. And this is the amount, which is 10,000. And this is the quantity, which is one. And this is the currency code, which is INR. And this is the random phone number of my customer. Now I got all these details. Now what I want is I want to add these details automatically in my Google sheet. So for that, I need to set up my action step. And in my action step, I will open this tab. And I'm going to search for my action application, which is Google sheet. And I'm going to select this. Now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and add new row will be my action event. And I will connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. And I will click on allow to give access to my account. And my connection here is successful. Now I have these details here. So first I have to select my spreadsheet. So for the spreadsheet, I will go to Google Sheet. And here I'm using the spreadsheet, which is named as new order details. And we have these columns here, customer name, email, phone number, city, plan and the amount. And we are using sheet one here. So I'm going to map all these details in Pabli Connect. So let's go back to Pabli Connect. And first I have to select my spreadsheet. So for that, I'm going to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the spreadsheets that are connected with my Google Sheet account. And I'm going to use this new order details spreadsheet. So I'm going to select this. And we are using sheet one. So these are all the details that I have in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to fill all these details and I'm going to map these details and I'm going to use mapping here. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this response and I need the customer name. So I'm going to search for my customer name. So this is the full name of my customer. So I'm going to map this. Now I need the email address. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to map my email address. So I will search for email. This is the email address of my customer. So I'm going to map this. Now I need the phone number. So I will do the same step. I'll click here. I'm going to open the response and I will search for a phone number. So I'm going to map this phone number of my customer. 
Now I have to give the state. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response and I will search for my state. So the state is Madhya Pradesh. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to give the plan. So I will click here. I will open this response and I will search for my plan. So my plan is digital plan. So I'm going to select this and now I will map the amount. So I'll click here. I'm going to open this response and I will search for my amount. So my amount is of 10,000 rupees. So I'm going to map this and I have filled all my details here. So I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we have this response. So this is a positive response. So this means I have added all the details in my Google Sheets automatically. Now to check this, let's go to Google Sheet. And here this is my Google Sheet and I have added these details automatically in my Google Sheet. So my customer name is new customer, email is new customer at the rate pablitudes.com. So this is the random phone number and the state is Madhya Pradesh, plan is digital plan and amount is 10,000. So these are the details of my order that I have got from my website and have added this details automatically in my Google Sheet and through my website I have accepted the payment with the help of public subscription billing and I'm keeping the records of all the orders in my Google Sheets automatically. So here I have used public subscription billing as my payment solution and as a freelancer I'm accepting all the payments with the help of public subscription billing. So my integration between public subscription billing and Google Sheet is working successfully. Now let's go back to Public Connect and here we have created this integration between Public Subscription Billing and Google Sheet such that whenever I'm getting a new orders through my website and I'm accepting the payments and for accepting the payments I'm using Public Subscription Billing and whenever I'm getting a successful payment then I'm capturing the details of that order and then I'm adding all the details of that order automatically in my Google Sheet. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Pabli subscription billing and my trigger event was successful payment. Then I have set up my action and my action application was Google Sheets and my action event was add new row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.